Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel. Today's sketch is this one and the prompt is heart. So big ol' hearts are going to be happening there. I am going to be using the background heart maker stencil from Scrapping Reflections. I thought this was a perfect match. I pulled out this sticker sheet from close to my heart and I've got some photos of Snow White and Aurora. So let's see what I can do. All right, guys, now I have taken my background heart maker stencil and it is over top a piece of pattern paper from close to my heart. And I am taking, this is basically a close to my heart video. I want, I'm not, I'm not a consultant. I'm not anything like that. I just like their products, especially fond of their inks. Um, now I am using my ink blending brush with the smoothie ink. Um, and I am making sure to get a good deep color through my stencil. Um, and that is because I'm kind of using a like a teal sagey green background and I want you to be able to see the color of the pink um, on top of that. Like I don't want you to get confused. Um, I don't want the, the greenish color and the pink color of the ink to mix together and make their own color. I want to lay enough ink on this that you can see that it is this color. Um, I want two distinctive colors, um, and that is because the sticker sheet that I am using has two distinctive colors on it, and I don't want it to blur. Um, now, this um, stencil is a fun stencil. Uh, you could flip it either way to have your gap um, on the left or the right hand side of your heart. Um, and this one just, it just gives you so many possibilities. Like I could have left my stencil just with the ink and the coloring through it. Um, but spoiler alert, you can see the glitter glaze right there on the right hand side of the screen. So that stuff is going down as well. Now I am using the glitter glaze. Um, I can't remember the color name of it. Such a bad glitter glaze lover. I love glitter glaze and I can't remember the color. Um, basic, it's almost like the, it's like the light white slash clear glitter glaze frost. I don't want to, I don't remember what it is. Um, and since I do use that, uh, over top of the stencil directly now, um, like after I'm finished stenciling, what that's going to do, uh, is it's going to mix with the ink that is still sitting on top of the stencil and it's going to turn the glitter glaze a little tinge of pink. Now, as you can see, oh, I just tapped the screen where the glitter glaze was. Um, as you can see, the glitter glaze is almost gone. So I don't mind the fact that the glitter glaze is mixing with the ink color and it's turning it a shade of pink and I'm like dipping my palette knife back into the glitter glaze because I'm going to use it all in this layout. The tub gets thrown away after this layout because there's like it's gone. I've used it. Um, but if this was something that would stress you out, then you need to wipe off your palette knife uh, before you place it back in your glitter jar if you don't want to contaminate but like I said I don't mind um especially since you know I'm I'm wrapping up the glitter glaze here so I get the glitter glaze down on the layout and then I am going to go wash off my stencil and my palette knife but look at that ah! <sighs> I could watch stencil reveal videos forever you know when they have those most satisfying YouTube videos? Like stencil reveal videos are just my jam. <sighs> I just love it. Maybe I'll just, maybe I'll make a stencil reveal video. Who knows? I don't know. I love it. Um, now the glitter glaze over here on the layout is still wet. Um, so I am going to basically build my layout while it's wet. I'm not going to uh, wait for it to dry. I'm not going to use a heat tool to help it dry. I'm just doing it. And I've I would recommend it if you're not sure that you're not going to mess it up or you're not okay with a little bit of a mess up. Like if you need perfection, then put this to, uh, to the side, let it dry, and then come back to it once it's completely dry. Um, I, I just don't have that stress. I just don't stress that much about it anymore. So I do have these two photos. This is of Snow White and also of Aurora. And um, they are in the cavalcade. So 
uh, in the height of COVID. I guess, are we still considered in the height of COVID? I have no idea. Um, but when uh, we went in September 2020, um, instead of parades, they had cavalcades, and the princesses were in this horse-drawn carriage thing, and um, they had these big plastic sheets separating them from each other, and you can kind of see the plastic in the photos, um, and that's how they did parades, air quotes. So, um, yeah, so I just needed to document that a little bit. So I am going to pop this up on Fun Foam, and that's just going to give me a little lift off my page. So I really do like, if I've got glitter glaze going on on the page, that's already giving me dimension and texture, right? Well, I like to layer on a little bit more of dimension um, just by popping some things up on Fun Foam. It's not giving me such utter thickness that it's like this super lumpy bumpy page, but it is just giving me that little bit of lift. Um, and I think it makes a difference. Like it, it, it really adds something to your page when you pop things up. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And there's that sticker sheet that I was using. See, it's got the, it's got that blue color. It's got the smoothie, um, color on it that I inked with the glitter glaze. Um, and you know, I just, it just feels right. So I pop that up. Um, and this is where I'm trying to like decide, okay, um, am I going to do this? Am I going to be careful with it? Like, what am I doing? And I'm like, yep. You know what, Sandy, you got this. You can be careful with it. So now I'm going to go ahead and finagle that flower on there. And then I'm going to add in these little flowers as well. And to be honest, I thought about popping these guys up as well. But I thought that if I had the varying layers, that would make more of an impact than to have everything popped off the background of the page. I didn't want it to seem like I was trying to get everything to separate from the background. I wanted everything to be like one cohesive page. So ultimately didn't pop those bad boys up. Now, I do use the title that was on this sticker sheet, So Happy Together, um, and my plan was to grab tile stickers, stickers, not tile stickers, stickers, and spell out even apart, um, but I end up just doing the even apart in my journaling. I don't grab the tile stickers. Um, it's fine. Like, I'm not upset about that. I don't feel like I missed... I missed an opportunity or anything like that. So now I'm just going to do the journaling where it says, uh, basically the title is So Happy Together, Even Apart. Um, and then I talk about how the princesses were separated by these big plastic sheets. Um, and we still got to, you know, see them and wave at them and all that kind of fun stuff. So now I am going to grab some little... Uh, enamel dots here and they are a shade darker they look even darker on video but they're not as dark as they seem um, just to add a couple enamel dots around there um, to kind of go for all those splatters that's in the sketch since I didn't splatter anything but there it is you guys thank you so much for watching thanks for joining this super fun uh, combo series of scrap timber and 30 days of sketches and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.